What is up, everyone? If you're wondering what day it is, I'll tell you, it's Stu's Day. And we're about to talk to the legendary coach, Stu Brown, who this is a new segment, everyone. So first of all, welcome, coach. Um, and thank you for doing this. We're excited to have you on Stu's Day. I appreciate it, man. I'm honored that, I mean, Stu's, it don't get much better than that. That's very for creative, you, Flip. Very creative. For you, every day is Stu's Day, though, right? I, I mean, hear you. I hear I you. All right, so we're real quick, and I, I probably won't do this every time we do the segment, but I want to let everyone know this is just getting Coach Stu Brown's thoughts. He's going to enlighten us with his knowledge, his experience, um, because that's what we want. That's what I want to hear. And uh, we're going to start this week with this question. You ready, Coach? Yes, sir. All right. What advice would you give the parents of an aspiring 10-year-old athlete? Man, it's wild you ask that, Kevin Kosov. I've actually spoken a couple of per, uh, parental meetings. I've actually spoken a couple of auditoriums pertaining on how it is to be a parent. And it's tough. I'm a parent, but I'm also a coach. But uh, it's tough to follow along with what I've seen that's worked. With that being said, the advice I would give is mainly, man, just positive reinforcement. Way too many times uh, we allow failure come to the point where we critical, we allow excuses to be made, whether it's from the parent, whether it's from the athlete, we allow them to point to finger, transfer blame. And the thing that I would suggest the most is just positive reinforcement. You know, yeah, they missed that flower ball. Yeah, they missed that shot. Yeah, they missed the tackle. But the thing that we can tell them instead of being hard on them and creating a negative, keeping a negative and negative, make it a positive. Just let them know, man, that'll be okay. They are kids, make it be fun. And they are kids and just let them know, man, we're going to work to get better. We're going to work to get better. And it also creates a mentality instead of if they are talented. It also creates a mentality instead of somebody telling them all the time how good you are, how good you are, and they can't handle failure. I think it creates a mentality to them that, look, man, we got to get better. It's that simple. We can't focus on the past. You know, we can't focus on the past. Let's get better at what we can handle in the future. It's something, I, it's something I learned a long time ago, and I, I always put it to our student athletes about this as far as working with young people. It's a reason why we have a big windshield in the car and a little rear view mirror, okay? Look through that big windshield. Look forward, positive, create a positive atmosphere, and leave that rear view mirror alone. Can't do anything about it. Being critical of them, being hard on a man. Yeah, they need to be disciplined. They need to understand that there's expectations. If you don't meet them expectations, it's consequences. But we also got to be able to look in that mirror and say, what can we do better to help these young athletes out? And I think it's create positive reinforcement. I know you're a baseball guy, man. Baseball's a game of failure. And uh, uh, you, me and you mentioned this, man. You go three for 10, you're a hero. You're great. Well, if I make three or 10 of my free, free throws, I'm not putting him on the free throw line. My quarterback's completing three of ten of his passes. He's not a quarterback. So if things in baseball, man, it has to be positive because so much happens in that game that's failure. So right now in the first segment, the best advice I can give a man is just keep being positive. Don't make excuses for him. Just let him know we're going to work to get better. That's awesome. I love it, Coach. And guess what the best part of this is? We're only a week away from your next piece of insight, and we can't wait. So, hey, everyone, check that out. Love Coach Stu, and guess what? Stu Day's coming again. Thanks, Stu's Coach. Love it. Appreciate you, Flip. Appreciate you, brother. Later.